As President Trump refuses to accept the results of the 2020 election, his Republican Party splintering in two. I plan to object to certain contested electors on January 6th. With dozens of his allies in the House planning to object to the Electoral College count on Wednesday, Senator Josh Hawley has said he'll sign on, forcing an up or down vote on whether President-elect Joe Biden won. A dozen more Republican senators say they'll vote to object unless there's a commission to study the results. We ought to have a fair inquiry, a fair audit into these results. Establishment Republicans are warning objecting is a political and moral disaster. Mitch McConnell calling it a vote of conscience and the most consequential vote I have ever cast. Mitt Romney, the Republican presidential nominee in 2012, said it dangerously threatens the republic. Liz Cheney, the number three House Republican, writing in a blistering 21-page memo to her colleagues Sunday that objecting violates Republicans' core beliefs and would set an exceptionally dangerous precedent. President Trump quickly attacking Republicans who don't support the effort, labeling them the Surrender Caucus. If members of Congress take up false claims of voter fraud and try to use those to overturn an election that they do not like, they will be on the wrong side of history. The objections could stretch a count that usually takes just half an hour into an hours-long marathon at the Capitol, though it won't change the outcome. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.